Hi, I'm Kate, part of the Ancient Roots community. Celebrating with you all that we're almost coming up to a year since our conference, which was amazing. Thank you, Ivka. And sad that we're not going to be meeting in person. I know Mish has done a video on nettles, but someone asked if he could do a video uh, showing Israeli nettles. I'm probably going to raise more questions than I'm going to answer for you, but I'm going to share my questions with you and we'll see what we can learn together. As far as I know, there are three different types of nettles growing in Israel. Uh, I'll try to remember all the names. You've got Mediterranean nettle, which is Mem 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 Brankai. Um, dwarf or small nettles, which is the Urins, and the Kadurim, which is the one with the balls, a uh, Roman nettle. Now, there's two or three different ways that I've been researching that you can identify them. One of them is to do with the shape of the leaves and how even the serrated edge of them is. And one of them is also to do with the fact of whether they've got four leaves or two leaves coming out of the stem. I'm still trying to work this out. I really can't work this out. I'm sure some of you are more highly qualified or maybe just have more information and you can share this. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we can have a look at the nettles. Okay, I've come to a beautiful spot this morning. I'm uh, in the fields of Ofer, between Ofer and Kerem Maharal, which is just between Zichron and Haifa in Israel. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the shape of the leaves. What I would suggest is this could be dwarf nettle. Okay, now what I'm trying to work out, first of all, as we've seen in previous videos, we do get stung by nettles. I like the sting, it's good for circulation, so unless I'm picking a large amount for cooking, I will use my hands. Um, I'm trying to stand in the sun so you can see it. Okay, first of all, let's just look. You guys work with me here. Is this two leaves or four leaves coming out of each joint? If we look down on it, we can definitely see it's like a pattern of four. But I'm trying to work out, if we look closely here, this one definitely does look more like there's four coming out, two and two. But there's others that I've seen that it's more clearly, I'll try and find one, shows that it's just two leaves coming out of each stem. If we look at this one. So that's one of my questions. Are there two or four leaves shooting from each section? This one does seem much clearer to be four, two larger ones and two smaller ones. The other thing that I've noticed is that some of them, as you can see here, it's got a kind of very... I've moved to another section and here it's much clearer that there's definitely four leaves coming from a point rather than two. So they're quite low down, but the leaves are larger. So maybe this is in fact the Roman nettle. Are we going to decide together? Roman nettle. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that I'm hearing, maybe I'm mistaken, that the stem was square. In fact, here in Israel, that's definitely a very round, circular stem. Nettles, we love you, nettles. And my last, my last thoughts are this varying colour in the stem. Here we've got some that are very much more green, but we've also got some that are more ready brown. Is it maybe to do with nutrients, soil, where the nettles are growing? Another question to ask. So I've raised more questions than maybe I've answered, but these are our beautiful Israeli nettles. Okay, I've moved to a different section and now I'm not sure it's going to be the light or if we can really tell. Can we see here there is definitely a much darker colour in the nettles where I was just at, which I'm wondering is the Roman nettle. It was growing quite low to the ground, but it could get taller. And again, look at this ready stem. Compared to, let's find a nice one. Hard to cut. Okay. 
just pure green stem and it's much clearer that there's only two leaves coming from each side so let's hold them up together so can you see the difference so perhaps this one the lighter green and the one where it's clearly coming from two sides is the mediterranean and the one that's more obviously coming with four leaves coming from each point and the darker leaf it also has a lot more hairs on the leaf catch it without shadows so unless I think of any other thoughts these are my questions that I'm putting to you in helping us all identify exactly which nettles are which but meanwhile what do we do with nettles I make infusions we're at home in my kitchen but since we've been talking about nettles and I was just making a nettle infusion I thought I would show you I fill up this nice large glass French press with nettles, fresh nettles, add hot water. If you're making a proper, in inverted commas, infusion, you may want to have something that's closed off and you're not going to let any of the steam out. But a very simple way, it works just as well. How do I know that the infusion is working? I have psoriasis on my fingernails sometimes throughout the year. As soon as we get into nettle season and I'm drinking a few infusions, the psoriasis just disappears completely. So that's a nettle infusion. The thing I do with nettles is make a tincture. Tincture, you could think of it as a medicine if you want, or as a preventative. What does a tincture look like? I've got one here, which is actually catnip, but I'll show you as an example. Very easy to make. You fill up a germ jar with the nettle, with the nettle or whatever herb you want. Cut it up nice and fine. And then you add alcohol you've got a hundred percent alcohol and each plant has got its own percent percentage of what you mix with water so for example this is nettle it's 40 percent so i mix 40 percent of the 100 percent alcohol with 60 percent water and i add it i add it to the jam jar screw it tight and keep it in a cupboard for six to eight weeks, different plants again, different lengths of time. And once you've kept it for the amount of time that you'd like, you simply strain it. I then keep the tincture itself in nice brown bottles and I keep them in a cupboard. Now, what's the idea is that different ways of using the nettles, whether you're making an infusion, I normally make that overnight and drink it the next day, but you can drink it for tea. You'll have less medicinal properties if you just drink it as a tea, having brewed for five, 10 minutes, than if you keep it as an infusion and drink it the next morning. Or whether you're using the tinctures, you get different properties, different medicinal properties, different benefits from the herb. An example of something that I've done the last couple of days is because I love nettles so much. Did I mention I love nettles? I created this I found this old hanger a while ago and I just have lots and lots of bunches of beautiful nettle that I will then be able to have either for cooking as a herb to sprinkle on for flavor or to use in soups or to make infusions I'll have throughout the year it doesn't always last me throughout the year but it'll have a good amount and as an example Nettles are just a pure powerhouse. Minerals, vitamins, iron, calcium, potassium, zinc. You've got the vitamin Bs, the K. It's easily absorbable. If I could work out how to change the camera mid-flow, I'd get you see me. It's great as a body cleanser, a blood cleanser, the urinary system, kidneys, liver. And different, like I said, different ways of using it, you'll get the different properties. Eating, don't be scared of it. If you want to use rubber gloves, use rubber gloves. You'll be able to cut stuff up really simply, wash it, use it for teas, put it in your soups. Use it as you would any other green vegetable. It's delicious, I like the taste of it. And enjoy, enjoy nettles. So that's a little bit about me and my love affair with nettles. 
I've given you basic information. I invite you to do more research, how to make tinctures, infusions, all different kinds of recipes. You're welcome to contact me for more recipes. Just get out there in the forest. As Rivka says, roll up your sleeves, take off your hats, unless it's winter. I wear my hat in winter. And enjoy. Enjoy our beautiful forests and fields. Enjoy our beautiful plants. And always remember, if you're out in a forest, only eat things that you're 100% sure of. Enjoy. <laughs>